This video is all about interoception. Now, interoception is being able to notice our internal body sensations, like tense muscles or a rumbly tummy or heavy eyelids, and then to link these sensations into an emotional meaning, such as anger, hunger, or tiredness. And it's a skill which we call interoceptive awareness. We think from the research available that interoceptive awareness is a really important foundation for our emotional regulation, like managing anxiety and sensory overload, and being able to do everyday tasks like participate in the classroom or knowing to go to the toilet. If you think a child has difficulty in this area, then in this video, we want to provide some general tips of what you can do at home or at school to help to develop these skills. Start off by exposing the child to the language that we commonly use to describe these body feelings, such as cold and hot, slow and fast, clean and messy, loose and tight. These are just a few examples. And it's a good way to build these terms into your everyday life and just into conversations with your child. So when you notice that they might have red cheeks, it might be good to say, are you feeling too hot? Shall we take off your jumper? When the child is doing everyday tasks like handwriting, playing in the water, climbing on the playground equipment, it's really helpful if we provide observations and we can make statements about the different body parts such as, oh, your hands are sweaty, can you feel the sweat? Or if they're a little bit older, you can provide choices for response, like, are your hands sweaty or dry? Or even, how are your hands feeling now? At this point, we're teaching the child to notice, but we're not telling them what the feeling means because we all experience these feelings differently. So some of us will experience hunger and anxiety in a different way to others. And actually, what we need to do is to help our children work out how it feels for them. Lastly, we can do body checks. Or you can do this check as a whole family or as a whole class at school. You could have a body check picture in the front, on the front door or um, at the classroom door. And about three times a day, just check in with your child about how their body's feeling. So if you've just come in from running around outside, you might stop and notice together. How's your heart feeling? Is it fast or is it slow? Or if you've been on a long walk, you might ask, how do your legs feel? At this stage, children might start to link what the feeling inside is to an emotion. And once they make this body emotion link, they can learn to take the right action to help them to feel well adjusted and balanced within their body.